Hey guys, this is Eric from Just Cool Enough, and I've got a, another cool demo I wanted to show off. I, uh, it's a single player demo, not multiplayer like I normally do, but I thought it was actually kind of interesting. Uh, the game is Sniper Elite version 2. Uh, apparently it is a not a sequel to Sniper Elite, which I'd never heard of anyways, but sort of a, a reimagining of the, the game. It's, I think, better graphics, better gameplay, all the, better weapons, all that stuff. Um, what's interesting is it, it's a sniper game, kind of a, a stealthy, cool sniper game, uh, set in World War II, uh, that kind of, you know, you got to do stealth things, uh, you see, you take cover and all that stuff. Uh, what's interesting about it is it's got, um, the sniping is got, you know, kind of realistic in it's, you got to use gravity and windage, if, you know, there's a lot of wind and all that stuff, you got to aim like a a lot of wind and if he was far away I'd maybe aim like right about there instead of right on him but we'll just he's not that far away we could probably just aim right for his head uh, one of the interesting things also is hopefully you'll see it right now kill cams boom oh yeah uh, that was a nice kill cam took him out uh, got to see it uh, the kill cams are really interesting you didn't see it so much with that one but uh, some of the, the other kill cams, uh, you actually see the inside of the body. Like, you see the vital organs. It's kind of like if you played um, uh, you played Mortal Kombat, then uh, you might have seen it. Let's see if we can't get some cool kill cams out of these guys. Probably. Boom. Ooh. Yeah, no vital organs yet. But you can see, like, when you fire at them, you can see, like, the heart exploding and stuff like that. Just... Ow. Somebody's shooting me. This is probably not the best way to approach this scene, but it gives you the option. You don't have to go, ooh, let's see, cool kill cam, wham, boom, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, like, disturbingly violent in all the right ways, and the way that only a video game really can be. So we got a sniper here. So one of the, the things is that it has, uh, if you ever played uh, Splinter Cell, the, the last one, Conviction, it's got the um, last known position thing, sort of the ghost ghost image of yourself that you see, ooh, something cool, come on, something disturbing, oh, through the arm, that wouldn't really stop him, but yeah, if you see if I move out of this position, they know where I am, so if I move from here, it leaves behind the ghost image of myself so that uh, I can hide and they they continue to think that that's where I was Ow, damn sniper ooh that's a nice shot that's gonna be good oh yeah again through the leg there's a lot of meat that it dragged out Something cool. Sploosh! Right through. So it's got little markers around yourself so you can see where the enemy are. Oh, he's gonna try and help his buddy. Isn't that nice? No. Come on. Oh, I'm terrible at shooting. Usually probably not the best way to, to handle this, just directly engaging the people through the hip boom oh and out the butthole that's not a that's not a w nice way to greet people they were nice enough to invite me to their war torn country but uh oh that hit oh well, he's down and like judging from the music i'd say he's pro they're probably all dead so not only can you snipe, but you can also run around with the, the Thompson if you want to. Let's search these bodies. Oh, poor guy. Dying. So I can pick up some ammo and stuff. So I probably could have done this more stealthily, taking out some guys. Because I've got the Thompson, but I've also got this uh, silenced pistol that I can use if I want to. Which I don't particularly want to. I just kind of want to get through this game and show you some of the, 
the cooler aspects. It's it's inter I don't know if this game's gonna be amazing, but I really like the kill cam system. It's it's kind of interesting. I it, it's interesting enough that it makes me want to rent this for for review. So let's see if I can't take it. There's no like that I've seen. There's no like knife, so I can't like break a guy's neck, as far as I know, you know. Uh, but I've got this silenced pistol I can use on this little Nazi. America! <laughs> so I can take these guys out. I can drag the bodies too if I want to like hide these guys. And uh, you got, uh, obviously I can kind of slow walk or crawl if I want to be like a true sniper. A very elite sniper in this game. Sniper elite. Uh, it seems like, at least from this map, uh, kind of a linear map. Not, I mean, not incredibly linear. Like, it's there. There are a cup. There's a little bit of option when it comes to where you can hide and stuff like that, and the routes you can take. But overall, it's not. It's not crazy. You know, it's not quite Splinter Cell. It's certainly not uh, Hitman. Boo! Right through the jaw. Not a bad. If he gets it some medical attention he might live through that but you know so let's see there's there's a couple of guys down the road here that I'm gonna try and uh, snipe and I'm gonna try and do something cool which I did my first time by accident and have yet to been able to recreate and that involves shooting one of them in let's see I probably hit him about here let's see if I can't recreate this now can't believe it's not working. Uh, anyways, what I tried to do and failed, I was hoping would would do. Oh, boosh. Uh, I shot, the first time playing through this, I shot at these guys, hit the first one, hit him right in, I guess, his grenade pouch or something, and then grenades detonated, blowing up the guy next to him. And I thought that was a, that was really cool. I did not expect that, and I was hoping like that would be like something I could do. But I kind of like the idea that it's not just something you do now. Like like these are the guys that blow up. That it's I had you have to kind of hit them in the right spot, I assume, which is actually kind of I guess more cool than if it had just been sort of a a, a thing that always happens. All right, so I'm gonna go a little less stealthy. I'm gonna go loud. Go loud now. So I can throw things like a grenade if I wanted to. Satisfying the grenade detonation. So not, did I get them both? There's another guy around here. Okay. Indicator's telling me that there's somebody hostile nearby. See my little ghost image being left behind. That's stealthy. Yeah, I think I got them both. That's cool. So you can, I can vault over here. Unfortunately, as I was saying, there are a, a lot of unlinear paths. Like I can't get into that window, and this door is closed. And I haven't found a way to like open these doors. So this is just kind of like a path that I don't know. This possibly. Maybe I can go that path. Let's check it out. Why not? You're watching this video this long? No, nope, see, blocked off. That's kind of the way this is going. Uh, so I know that there's a guy somewhere in there. There's actually a couple of guys in that bombed out building. But uh, there's a sniper somewhere there that has given me trouble before. I don't see him. He's in here. But where? He's being smart and not revealing himself. He knows I'm out here. Ah, eh, screw it. We don't have time to go wasting. We've got a mission. We've got some Nazis to kill. Nazi scientist. Worst kind. I think I saw that sniper. Nope, just an open window. All right, so our mission, uh, we get to set up some explosives here. 
I hear a gunshot. Nope. I know that there's... There's a Nazi somewhere in this building. But where? Where art thou, Nazi? Alright. Switch to... Okay, I gotta set some explosives right there on that truck as well. So let's be a little sneaky. Let's be sneaky, 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 sneaky. Okay. Until we can't be sneaky no more. So I know that there's going to be some Nazis in a cafe up ahead, which is another kind of interesting thing, or not interesting, but the fact that it is linear, the bad guys are kind of always in the same spot. They've got patrols. They're pretty... The AI is not bad, but it, it's clear that you know, they, there's a set like this is where the this is where the Nazi is. Yeah, I don't speak German, but I'm pretty sure these guys are talking about politics and how they hate America. So for that, they get grenaded. Oh, I did that again. Ah, I do that every time. I hit that that stupid awning. America, freedom. Ugh. Oh, I was killed. Maybe I can do that again. Luckily, there's checkpoints. I don't have to start from the beginning. Be sneaky-ish. I know there's some bad guys. Like that guy. That looks like that's going to be the neck. No, chest. Douche. You can run, but you cannot hide, you Nazi bastard. He's hiding because he really doesn't know where I am. And you get points for kills and stuff. More points for better shots, you know, sniper shots. Obviously, like killing somebody with a Thompson doesn't really rack you up many points. So now, set one explosive. For, let's set this other one here. And then we'll go. Again, there's a sniper in this building somewhere, but I don't know where. We'll clear it out now. We're going in here anyways. Let's clear this building. There's gonna be a couple of Nazis in here. We call this the Freedom Towers, now that they're gone, once we clear them out. Because Nazis don't believe in freedom. Because they're Nazis, and they eat babies, and all that stuff. Nazis are like the perfect enemy, because you can't offend anybody when you uh, when you make the bad guys Nazis. That's what's so great about Nazis, is that nobody's going to get mad that you make a game where you just slaughter Nazis. Even if these were like defenseless Nazis, that I was... Like this guy. It, the fact that I'm about to just slaughter this guy who's tired, he's probably resting... Probably as a family. I just shot him in the neck. He didn't even get a weapon out. Nobody's gonna get offended. No one's gonna get mad that I just murdered a Nazi. That's that's what's so cool about Nazis. Even the Germans don't care. Because they don't want people to, to get mad. Oh, yeah, they're right. Sniper on the roof. Forgot about that guy. He's a good sniper, too. He's gonna... I gotta, I gotta get a good position going. Let's lay down wait for him to peek his head out. He's going to sneak away. So some cool sniper battles. Another interesting mechanic is you got to keep your heart rate down. So if you're doing a lot of running and then lie down, it's going to be hard to hold the, the scope still. So where's that sniper? Let's see if he can't move. He's up. Oh, there he is. Alright. Let's 
Let's see if we can't take care of this guy here. Let's see, my heart rate's up a little. There we go. That's going to be a headshot. Oh, no, through, through the shoulder. I'm terrible at predicting these. I'm like, yeah, that's a headshot. Nowhere near the head. Now there's another Nazi somewhere up here, I think. Don't got a lot of ammo left in our Thompson. Sneak by. We're almost finished with this mission. Once we get to our sniper spot. That's when things get... I'm sure there might be ammo up somewhere. We don't really need the ammo at the moment. But here's some ammo. Not for the Thompson, though. Just the Springfield. Just in case, because we're about to do some sniping. Let's see if I can't do a better job of it than I did last time. So, oh, this is the... We're going to do some climbing. Luckily, it points these things out, because you can't really ever tell where the climbing points are. They're not as well defined as you would think. So, here's the cutscene that initiates the last portion of the demo, where we get to do... We set up some bombs, and now you get to see why. So... When I did this before, I blew up the uh, big tank thingy, or the armored personnel thingy, instead of the holding the scientist. So let's see, maybe we can blow up the, what do we want to blow up? The scientist is in the first convoy, or the first truck. So we can blow up th them both. Or we can miss completely, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, let's restart. Because <laughs> he escaped. Wow. I didn't. Last time I, like, hit my first shot. So, yeah. So, obviously, gravity. He's in one of these. Forget which one. So, we'll take out. Now. Boosh. Kill cam. Boosh. I think I took out. Yeah, I took out two trucks possibly from that yeah so he was definitely in one of those I think so that did it so that took out most of the Nazis too but not all of them so now we get to the fun of cleaning them up I think you can hide there there we go let's get something cool with that kill cam boom oh through the lung as you and the hand, too. So, and that's the finisher of the demo. Then this tank comes, and you're like, Oh god, how am I going to deal with the tank? I don't have... Luckily, I left that bomb there, but um, I don't think that's going to matter, because the demo ends right here. So that's Sniper Elite version 2. You can check out the demo on Xbox Live, I think PSN as well. I think the game might be coming to the PC, I'm not entirely sure, but... Uh, pretty interesting game, some cool World War II stuff, if you're a World War II buff, uh, some interesting sniper stuff. Maybe not the greatest thing uh, out there, but maybe worth checking out. I don't know if it's going to be like $60, but if it were like $30, it might be worth picking up to, to mess around with. Those kill cams are pretty cool. But that's the demo, so maybe check that out for yourself, and maybe check out the full game when it comes out.